Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the California Speedway for the California 50. This is going to be race number 19 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with the start of the second half of Season 4, let's go through your top 10 in points. Your points leader is the 20 of Adam B5000. Second will be the double zero of Mudbone. Third will be the 49 of Jetman. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 72 of Duchess. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Seventh will be the 799 of Mike Check. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 203 of Signs. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. MBR still leads the way with Douche Motorsports second. Ace of the Zed Motorsports third. Amish, the, Amish Buggy racing fourth. And rounding out the top five, the Drop Bear Racing team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here in the More Freedom Series. And they are getting these cars dialed in. The crowd's going to be filing in at any time. So I think it's about time. So let's go race it. As they, as they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 25 at JTM. And on his outside, the 420 at Queen of Hearts. Starting third will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. And on his outside, the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Starting fifth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And on his outside, the 203 of Signs. Starting seventh will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. And on his outside, the 10 of Scooter. Starting ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. And rounding up top 10 will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for this California 50. Uh, there was several Douche Motorsports drivers starting in the top 10. We got the... The 07, the 329, the 203, and the 8. So four of their six drivers in the top 10 today. Well, really starting in the top 10. We'll see where they end up here. The 25 of JTM will be bringing us down to take the green flag here today at California. We're going to see what he can do, what he has for the rest of this field as that beautiful Orange and Black Dodge Challenger pace car leads the way here. Hopefully 50 laps of green flag action here today as the pace car is in. They are coming down to the start zone here for this California 50. The green flag is out and they are underway. Dodge fired up for MBR out here at the front of the field today. Uh, do, DB and Duber are hanging right there on his back bumper right now as we see multiple wide back here with the three of Geek Girl Games currently on the high side with the 203 of Signs and the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant coming from the 17th position has maybe worked his way up into the top 10 already as we got like three, four, five wide into turn one as we follow the Pink Panther into one. So Zed is working to try to catch up to the back bumper of the 329 of Heck of a Duber as the 420 at Queen of Hearts works down to the inside of that Chevy for Douche Motorsports. Here comes the 420 Queen of Hearts teammate, that 95 is Ed Brunna, and known wrecker of the 23 of Paul, fuller than you. So Aces the Zed looking uh, spry here to start the second half of the season. Along with Douche Motorsports, but NBR still leads the way. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, your top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. So JTM leads the way right now as we head in, as we're working lap number three so about 47 laps to go here as we're going to watch back here as the 95 now trying to work underneath that 329 of heck of a duber so duber about to lose a position possibly to another aces to zed motorsports driver and the car owner the 95 of zed runner 
And Zed is going to be able to work underneath him as we see the 23 of Ford of you sliding up, kind of pushing that 329 of Heck of a Duber. And he does get able to get a little bit of a draft. Duber does on the 420 as the 23 of Fuller than you now down to the inside of the 95. Here comes the 203 of Signs. He's running high to, to go with the 95 of Zed Brunna. So Zed's going to get a good run here. Fuller left out to dry at the bottom of the track. The, nine, the 799 of Mike Check dropping down to the bottom with him. He might make it three wide. Ew, so close right there as the 999 of Deviant, his teammate, works to the outside of the 23 of Fuller Than You. Here comes the 71 of Kung Fu Beer maybe to the outside. The 799 of Mike Check jumps back in line as the 71 of Kung Fu Beer gets a great run on him going into the turn. KFB down to the bottom of the track. Right behind him is going to be the 544. So Winkle's going to go high. It's going to leave KFB out to dry as the 799 of Mike Check going to get a great run onto the back bumper. Of the 23 of Fuller Than You, as we see a battle right now between the 329 of Heck of a Duber and the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Duber slipping down to the bottom, his car owner, DB, running up to the top, but that's going to be a problem for that 329 as the 95 of Zed Brunna will get that draft by, from his teammate, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. As we see the 203 of Signs down to the inside of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. The 999 of Deviant currently making it three wide with those two douche motorsports cars. As his car owner is rolling up behind the 203 of Signs in the form of the 799 of Mike Check. So Deviant to the outside of the 203 of Signs. He's working with the 329 of Heck of a Duber. They're going to make it three wide down the back stretch with the 71 of Kung Fu Beers sandwiched in the middle behind him between the 799 and the 23. Throwing his banana into the ring is going to be the 10 of Scooter right now as he's working to the bottom. On the 544, Frederick Winklebaum trying to get a good line on that 71 of Kung Fu Beer as Beer is working to the bottom with the 799 of Mike Check right now as JTM still leads away here on lap number eight. So KFB. Working to the back bumper of the 799 of Mike Check. They're going to sandwich Mike between the 999 and the 71. And Scooter's going to slide to the middle there. He's going to, I'm not sure what he's doing. He might be poking his head down to the bottom right now. Or he's making it four wide into turn one, which was kind of a possibility, I thought, as just a note, the 420 of Queen of Hearts has now worked her way up to the second position as we watch the battle on the track right now between the 799, the 999, the 71, and now the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. This is for the, basically the seventh position on the track. As the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days down to the bottom of the track, she's gonna get some help by the 23, a fuller than you down into turn one as they make it four wide into turn one with Fuller on the bottom as it is getting wild and squirrely in one and two with Fuller making it three, four wide. The three, five, six of ice cream some days almost tries to jump in line behind the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, unable to do so. She's gonna have a race on the outside by the 10 of Scooter who slides back there. As we see the 329 of Heck of a Duber trying to make his way back to the front of this field. Let's check in on those leaders real quick as we see the 07 of Douche Baggins back to the third position. Two aces to Zed Motorsports cars in the form of the 420 and the 95 trying to track down your leader. The 25 of JTM who has led every single lap so far here today at California. Working lap number 11 is at 25 at JTM as we watch the 420 and the 95 duking it out here. Coming to the front stretch on lap number 11. I would say in the normal scheme of things, we're probably looking for pit stops 
any time now is what I would say as that 25 of JTM still is away. Down the back stretch he goes, still followed closely by the 420 and the 95. He's put a little bit, a couple car lengths in there as they battle it out. We watch the 420. She might be coming into the pits. That means the 95 is going to take over the lead. We're going to watch the 25 of JTM work his way down pit road here as we see him get on the binders to stay underneath that pit road speed. 25 of JTM leading us down pit road for stop number one here at California. This California 50 on lap number 12. So three-stop race, I would guess, here today. JTM, very, very long drive down pit road as he heads towards the back end of that beautiful orange and black dot challenger pace car. Let's see if MBR has got their stuff together for the second half of this season. Right side tires going on the 25. Looks like left side tires going on as well. All these drivers coming out of the pits. JTM, fuel going in. He is finally down and away. So good stop for that 25 at JTM, as well as the 07 at Douche Baggins has a fantastic stop here. Comes into the pits in, I think, the fourth position. He's going to leave the pits. Hopefully, he's hoping for the second position. We're going to watch that 25 at JTM, see if he had a good enough pit stop to beat the 95 of Zed Brunna out of the pits here so Zed's going to have to come in and he's going to have all that traffic in front of him on his pit stop which JTM didn't have so as we watch him work down in through I guess it's kind of like the triangle down into turns one and two he's got a full head of steam here we're going to see if he can catch up to that 95 of Zed Brunner Zed is out on the track. It looks like the 799 of Mike Check had a, an amazing pit stop as well. 25 of JTM to the high line here. The 95 looks like he's got his car fired up. JTM working to his back bumper. Down to the front stretch. Drag race to the stripe. The 25 of JTM, the 95 of Zed Brunna. Zed is looking like he's going to lead that last lap. The 25 of JTM looks like he's pulling ahead just a hair here. Through one and two, he is going to grab that position away from the 95 of Zed Brunner. So your leader back on the track is going to be that 25 at JTM. So a great outlap for the 25 at JTM, able to keep his position in the lead after those pit stops. But a great story on the track right now is that 71 of Kung Fu Beer, who started the day today back in the 21st position has now worked himself in that Lima Rita Ford for Kager Racing up to the second position. So KFB is looking for win number one in the More Freedom Series. He has been so many times a bridesmaid, but never the bride here in the More Freedom Series. He is right to the back bumper of that 25 at JTM as they head into three and four. KFB has got the hammer down in that La Marina Ford, and he is looking to take away the lead from uh, your pole setter and leader, the 25 at JTM, and he may have had it on that lap as we head into one and two. According to timing and scoring, your leader on the track, and we now see him pulling out in front by a car length or two is the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. So Beer, having made an amazing pit stop, he came into the pits, I think, around 7th or 8th position, able to get in out of the pits. Great pit stop. Is now your leader on the track. Let's go through your current top 10 as we see some battles here. Your leader, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Second's at 25 at JTM. Third is the 95. As Zed Bruna, fourth's going to be the 23, a fuller than you. Fifth right now is going to be the 420, a queen of hearts. Sixth is going to be 799 of Mike Check. Seventh is a battle between the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days and the 07 of Douche Baggins. So that's for seventh and eighth. Ninth on the track is going to be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And rounding out your top 10 right now 
is the 203 assigns. Let's uh, see if we can't find your points leader here. The 20 of Adam B5000 as he currently runs way back, way, way, way back in the pack. Currently running in the 32nd position is your points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000. 72 of Duchess. I'm not sure what has happened to her. She is 12 seconds behind the pack right now and slowly in danger of being put a lap down as she's about two miles per hour off of what everybody else is running currently. As we see the 95 of Zed Bruno working down to the inside of the 25 at JTM. So KFB still your leader as Zed takes over the second position. Here comes the 23 of Fuller than you down to the inside, but it looks like He's not going to be able to make that run. He's almost into his teammate, the 420 at Queen of Hearts. You saw him slide up the track, trying to get in front of the 420 and almost caused a huge accident right there between himself and his teammates. As we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days getting down to the inside of the 23 of Fuller than you, but as we also watch the 25 of JTM pulling down to the inside of the 95 of Zed Brunna. He's going to get some help. By, on the draft by the 71 of Kung Fu Beer as they come off the two. Down the back stretch, the 25 of JTM drag racing with the 95 of Zed Brunner. Zed's going to have that draft help by the 71 of Kung Fu Beer as JTM shuts the door on the 23 of Fuller Than You here. So Ice Cream has now worked her way into the fifth position after starting in the 30th position here today. Ice Cream some days. Now into the top five in the fifth position. As we see her trying to help, possibly help, that 25 of JTM get around the 95 of Zed Brunna. So she's going to draft with the 25 down the back stretch. The 25 is going to try his best here and hopefully not lose a spot to that 23 of Fuller than you. So into three and four they go. JTM is going to get that draft help on the, with the 95, able to keep the third position. He is desperately trying to get back up to the front of this field to, uh, to run with the 71 of Country Beer, who still maintains his lead over the 95, the 25, and now the 23 slash 356 of Ice Cream some days as we're getting racy back here with the 799 of Mike Check, the 07, the 420, and the 329. Ice Cream pulls down for, up for the block on the, the 799 as he works to the bottom of the track with the 07 and the 329. So Mike check to the bottom, Ice Cream to the top. Looks like she's going to get some help by the 420 and possibly that 329 of Heck of a Duber as she works to try to get to the back number of the 23 of Fuller Than You here. Slowly starting to see that second pack. Creeping in, we'll check back on uh, those folks as that is led by the 203 of Signs and both RP racing cars, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum and the 33 of Harvey Jones. Haven't talked much about Harvey this season. He's mired back in the 27th position in points. His teammate Frederick is in the sixth position. As you know, Signs runs ninth as a rookie here this season, so he's got a great car underneath him for Douche Motorsports. As we watch the 25, the 23, and the 95 battling it out for the second and third position. Looks like we got pit stops underway. No, yes. Yes, the 25 of JTM into the pits will follow that 71 of Kung Fu Beer as he is working right there in front of the 95 of Zed Brunner. So JTM is going to need an amazing pit stop here today with 25 laps to go. We got one more pit stop we're going to need before we get to the end of this race here today. So JTM's got to pull out a good one, get back out into the lead, and then maintain it for the rest of the, rest of the race. 
as we're watching the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, it looks like he's pulling off Mic Check. Going for those all-important five bonus points there. So Mike going to pick up the lead here from the 71 of Kung Fu Beer as Beer works down pit road into his pit stall. Uh, looks like Beer has the last pit stall on pit road possibly here today. Right side and left side tires going on for that Lima Rita Ford for Kager Racing. He is down. He's away. He's got all his fuel in. And I'm not sure if somebody else stayed out to pick up the lead after. Could have been the... Uh, I'm not sure. We heard that somebody go past. So we're going to watch KFB as he rolls down pit road here. As again, the 799 of Mike Check picked up the lead here today. There comes the 23 of Fuller than you in the back I saw. So KFB has that... Limerita Ford fired up in front of the 95 of Zed Brunna. 23 of Fuller than you, I don't think is going to get catch up to him, so it's going to be very close, and Beer has to watch out because we all know how Paul is here, where he catches up to you, he may just give you the bumper and put you in the wall. So watching this 71 of Kung Fu Beer as he is working to try to uh, take over the lead here. And it looks like he is going to pass that 799 of Mike check here as Mike is coming out of the pits. So KFB will take, will retain the lead after your pit stops here today. We'll wait for timing and scoring to update as we see the double zero of Mudbone working to get around that 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. So Mudbone having started 32nd and uh, Frederick starting 33rd and uh, Ice Cream starting 30th into the top 10. So let's go through your current-ish top 10, your leader. It is the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Second's going to be that 23 of Fuller Than You. Third is going to be a drag race between the double zero of Mudbone, who has it right now. And fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth's going to be the 356 of Ice Cream Someday. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Eighth looks like it's going to be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth looks like it's going to be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And rounding out your top 10, another Aces to Zed Motorsports car co-team owner with Zed Brunna, the 13 of King of the Aces. So Aces to Zed Motorsports has all their cars with the exception of the 11 of TC Roberts in the top 10, I do believe. As we watch the 23 of Fuller Than You, he is looking for win number two this season in the More Freedom Series after a controversial, very controversial win earlier this season where he, and I'm not saying it was deliberate, but I am surprised that the More Freedom Series didn't take action with that when he wrecked the 0-7 of Bruce Baggins for the win. So the 23, a fuller than you, right to the back bumper of your leader, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, down into three and four. Looks like Beer is going to give up that lead to Paul here on uh, lap number 31. And I know that we're going to get one more pit stop before the end of this race as they started pitting with 25 to go and they get about 12 laps in. So it's going to be very, very close right here at the end of this race on who can go the distance. So maybe if uh, KFB can just draft a little bit here with the 23 of Fuller Than You, save a little bit of fuel, and then come back and win this race. I don't know. We'll find out as we watch that double zero of Mudbone, who currently sits second in points. Actually about 90 points behind the good points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000. So Mudbone has two wins under his belt this season. He is looking for win number three here in the More Freedom Series, and he's also, not only that, he's looking for the points lead at this point. 
Um, I'm looking for the, the 20 of Adam B5000 currently runs 31st on the track, and the 49 of Jetman runs 32nd. So, rough day for two of the top three in points. The 88 of NM currently sits in 14th right now. That's fourth and the fifth. Duchess, who is in fifth in points, currently runs 33rd. So rough day for some of the top five in points here today as we watch the 71 of Kung Fu Beer just right in behind that 23 of Fuller than you. Again, we have one more pit stop that we're going to have to do. And I'm going to guess they had 25 laps to go when, they came, when he came in as he works to the inside now. Trying to take back that lead is the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Proving to that 23 a fuller than you that he's got a better car than him. So KFB has to make at least four more laps here today to potentially make it to the end of this race. Uh, so he has got to do everything he can possibly to save fuel. Let it coast a little bit into the turn, save that fuel, and uh, see what happens. As we watch that double zero Mudbone now solidly into the third position as the 544 trying to work to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream someday. So Ice Cream may come down and shut the door on the 544 as a huge run by the 13 at King of the Aces who started 13th today after those pit stops running in the 10th position now up to the sixth position behind the 544 as the 25 at JTM who is looking for his first win of the season after being skunked last year. Um, three wins two seasons ago for that 25 at JTM, skunked last year, still working for his first looking for his first win this season. As we watch the 71 of Kung Fu Beer still. Just right in behind the 23 of Fuller than you. It looks like Fuller, I mean, right now, if you told me that Fuller could win this, I mean, I would put the money on Fuller as he definitely looks like he's got a good car right now. Again, pit stops are going to be coming up pretty soon as we got about 13 laps to go here. As a note, fastest lap of the day is by the double zero of Mudbone at 194.313 miles per hour or 37.058 seconds. So Mudbone not only has the fastest car, I mean, he's also moved up an extremely large amount of spaces to pretty much the same as yeah, one more spot than the 544 because, you know, Fuller, where he started 32nd and uh, Frederick started 33rd. I think with any time now, if we see any pit stops at this point, that's going to get them to the end of this race. So it's going to be a battle on pit road between all of these drivers as we're seeing what looks like pit stops underway for your leader as a double zero of Mudbone takes over the lead here today after starting in the 32nd position. So Paul, who actually has the last spot on pit road, which is actually an excellent pitting, pitting area for him. Uh, he's stopping here and a four tire stop for that 23 of Fuller than you. Fuel going in, get as much as you can in there. He's down and away. He's gonna beat out the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. He's gonna have a great lead, I think, on that 71. There's the 356 down and away. So I think we got to see the. We're watching them come down pit road. There goes the 211 of Hogs. He's still out on the track. JTM is down and away. He's going to come out in possibly the third or fourth position. Watching all these drivers file off a of pit road. As we see the 95 of Zed Brunna squeaking down into his pits. There's the triple seven of Seabass. I haven't talked much about him here today. He was uh, running in seventh position when he came into the pits right there. So Hogs is actually going to take over the lead there for, uh, for a lap here today. 
as the double zero of Mudbone is working his way out of the pits. I don't think he's going to get out in front of the 23 of Fuller than you. He's going to do everything he can right now to get win number three under his belt. And he is going to get try to get as much as a run as he can through this turn and pull up in front of that 23 of Fuller than you. Here he comes up the track. He's going to slide in behind the 23 of Fuller than you. Not going to quite catch him as the 356 of Ice Cream someday is around the outside right there, which could be good for both the 356 and the double zero as they're going to be able to draft to catch up to that 23 of Fuller than you. So I'm not sure if there's anybody left to come out of the pits. Maybe the 799. So we're going to hang out right here with that 23 of Fuller than you and see if anybody else comes out of the pits in front of him. About nine laps to go here in the More Freedom Series. California 50 at the California Speedway. The 356 of Ice Cream some days down to the inside of the 23 of Fuller than you trying to look for the lead here. She's working down to the inside. She's going to have some help by the double zero of Mudbone. They head down the back stretch. Mudbone, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about where to go. It's a drag race in the one and in the three and four. Three, five, six of ice cream some days down to the bottom. The double zero of Mudbone thinking about it. And it looks like ice cream is going to take over the lead here at the California 50 for just a moment. As the double zero of Mudbone is slamming that car down to the bottom of the track looking for win number three this season. He's trying to cap off a win at the last points race at Fort Wayne and pull out the win of the first half of season four here at California. So Mudbone has had an amazing season here today, or this season so far. After that switch from uh, Chevy to Dodge this year and moving over to Amish Buggy Racing. Hulf is forcing his way in there right now. So Ice Cream and Mudbone now looking like they're going to have to work together to keep that 23 of Fuller Than You back in the third position. As we got about six laps to go here at California. Battle for the lead. First, second, and third right here on the track. As the 356 still maintains the second position for G3 Motorsports. Again, Ice Cream has had a tremendously bad year this year as she has just, after the move from over from Aces to Zed and the Toyota, she has just been trying to get her feet underneath her here at G3 Motorsports in the Chevy. So she has, I mean, I'm rooting for her right now as this looks like a fantastic run for her. We'll see if she can keep that 23 a fuller than you behind her. Story right now, that double zero of Mudbone leads the way. If he can pull off this win, he may actually take over the points lead as your points leader currently still runs in the 31st position here today. Let's quickly jump back and see what's going on as the 544 of Frederick Winklevom into the fourth position. Let's go through your current top 10 as we have about four laps to go here. So again, your leader is that double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Third will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fourth's going to be that 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth's going to be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh's going to be the 07 of Deuce Baggins. Eighth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. And currently rounding out your top 10 is the 420 of King of Hearts. But let's jump back up here to the front of this field as we watch that double zero of Mudbone still leading the way here at California after starting in 
the 32nd position. And if you'll recall, last points paying race, Mudbone went last to first, led one lap, one singular lap at Fort Wayne and pulled out that win in a spectacular fashion over the 88 of NL. So Mudbone is looking to go back to back here in the More Freedom Series as we head down the back stretch into three and four. Again, he's got the fastest lap on the day. He's got a hot rod underneath him from Amish Buggy Racing as they head. We got two laps to go here at California. Two laps to go for the double zero of Mudbone. About one and a half now as they head onto the back stretch. That 356 of Ice Cream Someday is staying within striking distance right now of your leader, the double zero of Mudbone. So Mudbone coming in through three and four. He's going to pick up the white flag here today as we head towards the strike. White flag is out. One more lap to go for your leader, that double zero of Mudbone. Ice Cream has got a little bit of a contention by the 23 of Fuller to the Mew here on this last lap. So battle for the second position between the 356 and the 23 of Fuller to the Mew. Ice Cream's going to get a little bit of a draft help from that double zero, I think. But that's going to allow in amazing fashion again here today into three and four for the final time your leader the double zero of mudbone coming from the 32nd position onto the front stretch pulling out another win here in the more freedom series win number three this season for the double zero of mudbone and it looks like the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days will finish in the second position narrowly over the 23 of Fuller than you by seven, seven thousandths of a second. So let's go fit through your finishing top 10. Your winner is in amazing fashion, two in a row, the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Third's going to be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Sixth will be the 07 of Douchebag. And seventh will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Eighth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. Excuse me, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. So amazing race here at California. And like I always say, if it can't get any better, next week we go to Sonoma for the Sonoma 46 road course time here in the More Freedom Series. We'll see how that goes. I think with that win, we're going to check in on your current points. I think with that win, that's going to catapult Mudbone probably to the top of the standings, especially with those three wins. So you're seeing your points here on the screen. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. I Great day for Aces to Zed Motorsports. Uh, one MBR driver in the top 10. So I don't know. You're seeing the team, team and chassis standings here on the screen. Well, that's going to do it today here from California in this California 50. Another insane drive for the double zero of Mudbone, starting in the last row, 32nd, comes 32nd to first, wins this race here today at California, and just putting his stamp so far on the season here in the More Freedom Series. And we'll see if he can keep it up next week at Sonoma. Until then, take care.